And welcome back everybody. It is a quiet evening across South Mississippi tonight. We're taking a live look towards the South. William Carey University on the east side of town. There's the baseball stadium, the lit up, uh, uh, the illuminated dining area outside. A beautiful evening out there in William Carey. If you don't mind the cool air, 53 degrees currently at the moment. Winds are out of the northeast at about nine miles an hour. And as you can see, more clouds out towards Walt Massey Ford in Columbia. They're currently at 50 degrees at the moment and temperatures are slowly falling. They may fall another degree or two, but they're not going to change that much over the next couple of hours. Low 50s, 54 in Richston, 53 in Brooklyn, Carnes and Maxie, 50 in Bassfield, 49 in Taylorsville. Like I said, they may fall another degree or two, but our temperatures are going to remain pretty steady for the next couple of hours. The clouds are sitting across the area now, but off towards the west, you see a lot of green on the map. That right there is rain, and this is our next system that will give us rain showers, and that'll move in late tonight and into tomorrow. So we're going to start off your day pretty wet here across the area, but the rest of tonight will just stay cloudy, and again, not much change in our temperatures. But the rain will begin to move in after midnight. We'll start to see a few showers by 2 to 3 o'clock, but the the bulk of the heavier rain will hold off until about 5 or 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. And as you can see, it's going to be a pretty wet start to your Friday. Here we are at 6 a.m., a very rainy start. Temperatures into the upper 40s to low 50s. And you're seeing a lot of red and yellow on the map, but we're not anticipating anything bad. That's the good news. It's going to be too cold for bad weather, but we could see heavy rain at times, maybe a clap of thunder or two. And this rain's going to stick around through much of the morning. As you can see at 9 o'clock, still scattered showers across the area. We'll still see some lingering showers through lunchtime, but we'll start to see everything move off towards the east by the early part of the afternoon. And I think by two to three o'clock, we're going to see our rain chances go down dramatically. High smart, low 60s. And then we dry out for your Saturday temperatures into the low 70s. Cloudy skies through the weekend. Maybe a stray shower Sunday, but most of the rain will hold off until late Monday and into Tuesday. That's when our next storm system is going to move in across the area, and that'll give us another chance of rain Tuesday morning and in through Tuesday afternoon as well. So the big story here over the next seven days, two really good chances of rain. Again, that'll happen on Friday, which is tomorrow, and then again on Tuesday of next week. Temperatures are on a warming trend. We'll start off into the 60s tomorrow. We'll make it up into the upper 70s by Sunday. And once we uh, arrive in the low 70s, we're going to stay there. We're not going to see our temperatures really budge that much mid to upper 70s all next week.